Welcome back to Spelling TTC Words with Mr. Leolis. Today we're focusing on words that have to deal with our TTC ridership lesson. You're gonna need letters of the alphabet, A to the letter Z. I'm sure they're uppercase letters. And now you have doubles. So you can spell some of the words that have two or more letters in one word. So this week's lesson was about riding the bus. So there's a few things we learned. The first thing we learned is when you pay your fare and get on the bus, you have to make sure that you hold on, right? So if you don't have a seat, you have to make sure you hold on to the handle above you or one of the bars that are in front of you, right? So we have to hold on so we don't fall. The first letter we're looking for is letter H. There's letter H. Now find me the letter O. And here's what the letter O looks like. <clears throat> now find me the letter L. Great. Now find me the letter D. And then I want you to find me the letter O again. So this is why we need double letters, because sometimes one word may have two of the same letters. Hold on. And the last letter is the letter N. And we spelt two words. And the phrase is hold on. So we must make sure we hold on to the bar or the handle above us because we don't want to fall when the bus starts to move, we potentially can fall. We don't want to hold on to somebody else because that person might fall too. So we have to make sure we hold on to something that is secure for safety, right? And that's if we're standing up. But if we, if there's something that's available that is a seat, we ask that you take your seat. And that's the word seat. And the rule on the bus is you sit, sit yourself at the back of the bus. So somewhere near the back. Seat, take a seat, letter S. There's an S, now find me the letter E. Good, now find me the letter A. what it looks like and lastly find me the letter T great and we just spelled the word seat so make sure when you enter the bus you take your seat all right let's put our letters back and at the front of every bus, there are special seats that are reserved, and these are called priority seats. It's a very big word. So those are for people who have disabilities, who are in wheelchairs. Those are for our elderly people, so senior citizens, our grandmothers and our grandfathers, or for ladies who are pregnant. And sometimes we even allow those seats to be given to moms or dads who have small children, babies, and strollers. So we give those people the priority. They're the first people who should be sitting in those seats. All right? So let's spell that word priority. The letter P is our first letter. It's a big word. And that's what P looks like. Find it for, from your list. And now find me the letter R. Good. Now let's find the letter I. And the letter O. Find me the letter R again. Good. 
find me the letter I again. Letter T. Good, and now lastly, the letter Y. We'll put this at the end like that. And now we spelled the word priority. So that means we give those people the first option to sit down. And that's because our senior citizens, they can't stand up long enough or they could potentially fall over more easily. Um, people who are pregnant, their, their bellies are quite big, so it's really difficult for them to be standing up or trying to make their way to the back of the bus. So we try to give those people our, the priority seatings so that's where they can be close to exiting the bus as well. Okay, when we are on the bus, it's important that we listen. And there's a reason why we do this is so we can hear or listen for our bus stop. Because above us in the front of the bus is a sign that tells us what the stops are and it also uh, announces it. So there's a speaker that tells you what stop you need to get off for. So you want to listen for that. So the first letter we're looking for is the letter L. There we go. And now I want you to find the letter I. Find me the letter S. Now find me the letter T. Find me the letter E. And lastly, find me the letter N. And there we go. So again, we just spelled the word listen. And as I said, it's very important that you listen for the instructions from the bus driver to tell you what stop is coming up next. So you don't miss your stop. All right, our last word is how we get off of the bus. And that word is exit. An exit is the door that we leave the bus. And that generally is at the back of the bus. It's important that we make sure we follow the rules of the bus. We enter the front of the bus and we exit from the back, the rear doors. <clears throat> so we're gonna start with the letter E. And then we follow that up with the letter X. Find me the letter I. And our last letter is the letter T. So say it with me. Exit. Great. And as I said, exit is where we leave. The door that tells us which door we have to leave the bus. All right, and you do that by leaving out of the back bus doors or the rear doors. All right, thanks for participating in this week's spelling with, oh, sorry, spelling TTC words with Mr. Leolas. We'll see you next week for another round of spelling.